Welcome to the leather journey. Um, today we're going to talk about the mirror cap or cover. Uh, and there's a wide variety of uh, traditions and opinions on the mirror cap. Um, so I'm going to give you my cut on it. Uh, this is one piece of leather that I personally don't think should be acquired. It should be presented or earned. Uh, and some are gonna say, well, it's only for D types. And I'm gonna say, well, that depends upon the organization, the club or uh, the region of the country you're in or the tradition that your family or house or group, whether it's pack or tribe, what, whatever structure your leather organization has taken, depends on the tradition that's being followed. I've seen S types wear this style of cover. Uh, when an S type wears this style of cover, it's not embellished with silver and a silver rim around the brim. It's very plain. Uh, but typically, usually when you see this type of cover, uh, it's on a dominance head. I don't have an example of an S type cover or cap but if you could just visualize a baseball style cap that's made out of leather, that's typically more typically what I've seen uh, S types wear that, uh, that have earned their cover or their, their cap. Uh, so is it a cap or is it a cover? Again, I'm speaking from uh, the traditions I've been exposed to. Uh, a cap is more over in the, the gay leather community when you're in, a, in the pansexual community, uh, more often I've heard it referred to as a cover. Uh, I'm comfortable with cover because I spent 20 years in the Navy and in the Navy, that was a cover. So it, it, it just seems natural to me uh, that, what, uh, that that is a cover. Uh, some other little traditions that I've bumped into are that uh, you you hold the cover this way. If if you're going to receive it from someone, you you take it that way. Uh, you attempt to never touch the brim of the cover. So, for example, if I was going to put this cover on, I wouldn't grasp it by the brim. I would grasp it such and attempt to put it on by never touching the brim. Uh, but that's the tradition I've been exposed to. Like I would never set that on a bed, and I don't really even know the uh, the reason why, other than that I've been taught you don't set it down on a bed. Other than that, <laughs> I don't know of any do's or don'ts. But the mirror the mirror cover, in my uh, view, is almost like a a trophy. It's an achievement. It's a uh, a recognition by a leather organization, whether it's at the family size, uh, the house, group, pack, tribe, you know, whatever uh, organizational structure is presenting it, in my view, it should be presented and not acquired by purchase. Uh, the rest of the leather, uh, it, it as I've said in my previous videos, it kind of depends. There's all different kinds of circumstances. There's parts of the country, parts of the world where there isn't a leather organization. Someone's interested in leather and wants to follow a leather path or create their own leather journey. They may or may not be in a position where they're able to present, be presented leathers and they have to acquire or purchase their leathers. Uh, Sometimes you want to acquire or purchase leather depending on the article of the leather for the fit or the, the style. And so there's, there's a whole lot of reasons why you might or might not uh, be presented leather. The leather organization that you're involved in might not present leathers. I know just in the, the Florida region, there's some leather organizations that, that don't present leather. So... Uh, if your organization does and you can participate in that process, that's fine. If it doesn't, that's fine. My own personal approach to the mirror cap in my journey was I never sought it. It wasn't something that I 
strived for or worried about even. Uh, I figured if it happened, it happened. If it didn't, it didn't. Uh, in my own personal relationships, the only one I ever asked to call me master is someone that's collared to me. Uh, in the dungeon, if I'm playing with someone that's not collared to me and they address me as sir, then I was more than happy with that uh, level of, of respect uh, and communication. But um, from what I've seen, uh, there's no community-wide organization uh, that that desires, decides when one has earned one's leathers. Uh, likewise, it's not not a specified requirement uh, or as to who may present or who may not present uh, leathers. There's nothing written in stone, if you will. In, in my own instance, um, uh, I was presented the Meerkat just recently at the 23 year point in my journey. Uh, there were nine people that I had known, all of them I had known over a, at least a decade. One of them I had known 19 years of the 23 years of my journey, or maybe it was even more than 19. Uh, yeah, tw 20 years of the 23 years of my journey. And um, they all formed a leather circle and they all, each one spoke individually of honor, integrity, respect, loyalty, uh, the, the leather principles. Not all of them spoke to each one of those items, but, he, but, he, but within the circle, everyone spoke to one of those items. And it was an interesting experience for me. At first, I didn't, I didn't want it, but then as the presentation was progressing, it was kind of a feeling of, of acceptance that uh, that nine other people thought enough of me to recognize me by presenting me with the meerkat. So for me, in my own personal relationship, it's kind of like a, a trophy. Uh, I will wear it with pride. I will wear it at high protocol events. If I'm at a leather event, there might be occasion where I wear it. You're not going to see me wearing it regularly every Saturday night in the dungeon, uh, because for me, it, it holds a place of respect in certain circumstances when I will wear it, certain circumstances when I will not wear it. The only thing that I've done in addition to it, other than when it was presented, was I put uh, the House Mermaid patch or crest uh, on the center, the front center of it. Uh, and I had a, a leather worker sew that on for me. Uh, that that's kind of it for uh, for leather caps. Um, S types do wear them. Usually, in my experience, they usually are shaped more like a ball cap, a baseball cap, but of course made out of leather. Uh, but I will also say I have seen S types wear the mirror style cap. So I will put a link. Uh, in the description below to where you can source a mirror cap uh, if, if you're so a mind to. Uh, and I welcome your comments. There, are, as I said, are many, many traditions that I bumped into. Uh, I'm just sharing my personal experience in, in my leather journey. And I'm very proud. I was very proud when I was presented. It was Kind of tearful. There was a lot of emotion involved in it, and uh, I appreciate everyone that watches the leather journey. And hopefully, uh, you'll continue to watch the channel. We'll continue to grow it, and we'll talk about other aspects of of leather. As always, thanks for watching the leather journey.